We spent four nights in Key Calker, Belize in 2019, did some amazing stuff, and we're gonna give you the best things you should do on your trip. Key Calker is a really small island. You can walk the whole thing in about 20 minutes, but a better way to see the island is actually to rent bicycles. Yeah, we had bikes for a few days, but realistically, you need them for like one day. You can just cruise around on them. They give you a bike lock, you can lock it up everywhere, but it is really hot and humid, so you're gonna sweat a ton when you're on the bike. Seriously. But it's fun to be able to cruise around. Uh, one day is more than enough though. You don't need to rent it for the whole time. They rent them by the day, so about seven to ten dollars a day for a bicycle, which is absolutely worth it. We recommend only doing it for about a day. Check your bike though, because some of them are really beat up. They're worn out old beach cruisers, so uh, make sure like everything feels like it's gonna work before you leave so you don't get super far away and you have to schlep all the way back. Yeah. Okay, my favorite thing that I did while I was in Key Calker was going on an all-day snorkel tour. I highly recommend going with Caveman Tours. We had the most amazing experience with them, and we really debated hard on should we do a half day or should we do a full day. Mm -hmm. And for me personally, the full day was totally worth it. I was exhausted at the end, <laughs> but it was amazing. You do a lot of different things. You cruise around the whole island first, and then they take you out to, I think, five different snorkel spots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get to snorkel at five spots and then they actually just cruise by a couple spots. One location was over by Maggie's Sunset Grill and you saw a bunch of tarpons. Tarpons? Yeah, tarpons. Tarpons? No, tarpons. Tarpons? <laughs> Might be tarpons. Um, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Whatever. So anyway, so you go to five snorkel spots, including the Whole Chan Marine Reserve, which is absolutely awesome. You get to snorkel with nurse sharks. Seriously insane. Like you have to do this. You go, so we found turtles, Crazy. there's rays. Real and, turtles. Yeah, and I mean, some people like didn't want to get out of the boat and it's all what you want to do. So mm -hmm. if you're freaked out by like swimming with the big nurse sharks, you can just watch from the boat too. Yeah, they don't, they don't care if you don't want to go out at a certain stop. Yeah, and, and Caveman Tours was, this is not sponsored in any way, but I think it was $65 for a full day per person. Um, but it was it was definitely the highlight of Key Calker for us. 65 US dollars, by the way, is uh... 120 Belize, 130 Belize, Two 140, be 135? Two Belize dollars Two e equals one US dollar. So and that's fixed, it doesn't change. Ever, ever. So math. Do the snorkeling trip and do the full day if you think you got it in you. And if you don't, you should still do it and just chill in the boat if you get too tired. And my pro tip, I didn't do this in the beginning, is take a life jacket. Don't think you're a tough guy and can just swim in the ocean for like a long, long time. Uh, if you're taking a GoPro like we did, bring like a hundred batteries because those things go fast. Just eats batteries and bring a dry bag because everything in the boat is gonna get wet. It's yeah. just how it is. So get one of those dry bags. You can buy them in the in town if you need one. If you don't bring it on your trip, you don't want to bring it in your luggage, but get a dry bag, get in that snorkel boat and just have your mind blown. We'll <laughs> drop a link to the dry bag we use that saved our butts uh, in the description below. If you're enjoying this video so far, like and subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get all of our updates as soon as we make them. So after you do all of this uh, biking and snorkeling activity, you're gonna wanna chill. Snorkeling, that's how you snorkel. So you're gonna wanna go to the Lazy Lizard and relax. It is the spot to be on the island. It's actually at the north end of the island, which is called the Split, because Hurricane Hattie split it, I believe in the 60s. Yeah. So that's where everyone congregates and that's where you wanna be. It's super fun. You can walk down into the water. They have covered tables. They'll bring drinks to you there. They'll bring food. We got ceviche that was like as big as my head for like, I don't know, like $14 so US. Tasty. It wasn't that bad. Um, so that's probably the most expensive spot on the island for like grabbing a beer or, or, or some nachos or something. But it is the best spot to just hang out, relax. They call it a, what, a sunny place for shady people. It's really fun to be uh, just hanging out there. So yeah. Lazy Lizard is where it's at on Key Culker. Yeah. It does close a little bit earlier, so if you're into like the late night, you'll end up at Sports Bar. These are not hard to find. You walk down the street and you will run right into them. And then it gets, as you go later through the night, there's little bars open if you're into like going really late. We didn't make it that late. <laughs> The street food is awesome on Key Calker. There's a bunch of little grills. There's Chef Kareem's unbelievable lunch. It's so good. Uh, that was one of the most re reasonable grills that we went to, but people just set up these barbecues throughout this uh, kind of the main little drag and you can walk up and they've got fresh snapper and lobster when it's in season in June, which it wasn't when we were there. But 
they've got all sorts of stuff shrimp uh, skewers caribbean jerk chicken and it is awesome to just grab food right there sit on the edge just find a hammock have your you know tacos or whatever also check out belizean flavors because that's where he had the best would you say was the best jerk yeah chicken? seriously that was the best jerk chicken it was really spicy though but uh, i think it's belizean flavors or flavors of belize it's one of those two it's at uh, the south end of the island yeah so. very very south end but if you want really spicy jerk chicken check that place out it is so good if you want something a little mellower though just ask them and they'll make things like cooler temperature if right. you're looking for that like this one one of the best things you can do on key cocker when you're just trying to relax is go watch the sunset the split is a great place to do this outside the lazy lizard there's all kinds of benches you can chill there watch the sunset take your photos Check out our Instagram to see some of our awesome photos that we took. When we were there watching Sunset, there was a huge tour group and I was able to kind of sneak back from them a little bit and get them in this amazing little shot, just capturing their moment of relaxing on Key Calker. I sent it to them on Instagram and it was just great to be able to share that with, uh, with such a cool group of people. The other spot though, outside of Key Calker, to see the sunset was at the View restaurant. It had just opened maybe two weeks before we got there and someone on the street kept telling us about it. Like, you gotta go to the View, you gotta go to the View. And we saved it for our last night. I'm glad we did because it was actually the most expensive meal we ate in Belize at all. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very, very delicious, excellent service. Um, it's at the top of a hotel. Yeah, it was at the top of a hotel. It has a really curly staircase, uh, but it's on the main main drag and it's called The View. But The View is incredible for Sunset. It was so really, great. really great. The food was outstanding. And when we say it was the most expensive meal, I believe we spent 110 US. So it wasn't like insane money or anything. And Okay, so this one's a little bit different. This is actually on, isn't actually on Key Calker. It's before you get there. And it's taking an airplane. So Maya Air is the one that we took. It was only, I think, $65, $70 each way per person. So it's a little bit, it's, it's quite a bit more than taking the ferry, which I think comes out to about $30 for uh, their end back per person. But you get to fly over this amazing blue ocean, and it's so much cheaper than doing a helicopter tour that is like three to $400 per person. Yeah, we really wanted to do the helicopter tour, but then we saw that it was like $400, yeah. and we decided against it, and we had to get to the island anyway, so we decided just to take the flight, which was awesome. Super cool, and it's only like 10 minutes long, so if you're terrified during it, you know it's gonna be over soon, so it's not so bad. And they took my giant suitcase, so that was that was a relief. <laughs> yeah, no problems with the baggage or anything like that. We each had like big suitcases or whatever, and that was cool. But it was like 70 bucks, shot right over, did that. It's all low key and island time style, so it might be a little late, but you will get there. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.